Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today I have a 2021 Ram 2500. I wanna walk through how to install the Weston Nerf Bars. Now some of the biggest reasons why you would want Nerf Bars. One, they add a lot of style to your vehicle. Two, on a bigger vehicle like this, again, this is a Ram 2500, stock ride height without steps. I'm six foot tall and it would be hard for me to get in and out of it. I'd have to throw one foot up and then pull myself up in order to get up into the seat. With running boards, or Nerf bars, we don't have to worry about that. Now our front two steps are gonna be four inches wide by 16 inches, so it gives us plenty of room for feet What's unique about this setup is we have a six and a half foot bed truck. So we have a shorter bed. Our back step is gonna be smaller, but it allows us access to get into the back of our truck if we need to. You can see they're gonna be a drop step style. When we compare them to some of the other styles of Nerf bars, you have your round Nerf bars, you have more of a flat top, but it's straight across. Uh, what sets these apart from those is they give it more of a rugged look. Also, our steps are actually gonna be steel instead of a plastic. So uh, they're gonna give us a lot more grip. Each one of our steps is gonna have a stainless steel tread plate that can be removed if need to be cleaned. It's gonna have tread in it. Their holes are designed to allow water, any dirt and debris to fall down through the holes. Uh, and keep them off the bottom of your feet to make sure that you have sure footing when getting in and out of the vehicle. Everything else here is gonna be a steel construction. It's gonna have a very durable black powder coat finish. As far as the installation process, pretty straightforward. I will say the instructions are a little bit difficult to, or a little bit more of a pain to follow. Uh, but once I got one on, it's pretty simple and, and it makes sense. Uh, they're gonna come with all the necessary hardware to get them installed. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how we install them. Start your installation. We need to come underneath the vehicle. A rocker panel, we're gonna have tape with two holes underneath of it. Those are the holes we need to remove the tape on. Once you remove them, you're gonna take a nut plate. We're gonna slide it in the hole like this. Then you're gonna put on the isolator. And that's just to keep the nut plate from falling into the hole. <clears throat> then you're gonna have a rivet in your kit. Doesn't matter which hole you go to, <clears throat> you're gonna take it, you're gonna slide it in like that. You're gonna have three of these, you're gonna install along each rocker panel on each side. Our second one is gonna be toward the center of the vehicle. And of course, don't forget your rivet. The third one is gonna be located right before the back of the cab, separates to go to the uh, bed of the truck. Each one of our brackets are gonna be labeled. You can see this is our front driver side, DF for driver front. And of course you have your driver rear, driver center, and then your passenger front side, or front rear and center. From here we're gonna take two of your longer hex bolts. We're gonna put on a lock washer and a flat washer. Now we're gonna take our driver's front bracket. The only thing different between this bracket and the five remaining ones is we're not gonna be installing, or the bracket's not gonna actually go on to the, the top bolt coming out. We're gonna line it up. We're gonna take our longer hex bolts Black washer, flat washer. We'll thread one into a rivet. That'll hold it in place. And then our second one, we're gonna rotate the nut plate to where it will line up with one of the holes. And we'll install our other bolt. Then we're gonna have some black button head Island head bolts. We're gonna put on a flat washer. 
We're going to through the pinch weld. And then on the back side, we're going to put a nut. Once you get one done, repeat the same process for the second one. For our center bracket, we're going to go over top of our bolt. And then, of course, we have the same hardware here at the bottom. Then for the bolt, a flat washer, black washer, and a nut. This is going to be our rear one. It's going to install just the same way as our second one, with the exception of it's going to have two bottom holes that go into the pinch weld like our front one did. We'll have two black bolts that will install right here. Next we need to grab our template for our driver's side. What we're going to look for is where the cab or the bed starts. You come back and you're going to find the bed rail. You're going to take this template, it's going to be marked Align with end of bed rail, and then actually the part that I already cut off says align with thin wall, so which is this this uh, piece of metal right here. So you can see I got two pieces of tape on it. We're gonna line it up with the end of our bed rail. This. Once we get it lined up, we're going to drill out this hole and this hole to a half inch. We're going to take our pull wire, we're going to go in this most center hole out towards the outside of the bed. You want to come out the end of the frame rail there. We're going to take a nut plate and thread it on. Slide it the frame rail. You want it to come out just like that. We're going to put a second nut plate. like that. And you're going to have a bracket that looks like this. We want this facing towards the inside. And then go over the two bolts oh, like this. And then on each one we're going to put a flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. Next, we're going to have to remove this trim piece. We're going to have a bolt here on the back side. And we're going to have plastic push pins that go up like this. The push pins, they have wings on them, so when they go through the hole, they spread out, and that's what keeps them in place. Take a pair of needle nose. and squeeze the two, that'll allow you to pop those loose. <laughs> Go ahead and reinstall this bolt if you want to hold the bottom portion of your wheel wall liner. Place. 
Then we can install the bracket that goes here. Our rear bracket is gonna look like this. You're gonna have two isolators. One's gonna have a spacer in it. Slide it in top or bottom, it doesn't matter. The other one is gonna go right on the bottom. And we're gonna squeeze the two together. You're gonna have a long hex bolt. Put on a lock washer, a large flat washer. We're gonna come up from the bottom. And take this bracket and bolt, and we're gonna thread it right into that bracket we just installed. I'm gonna make sure that these are facing out. Now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna slide our step over our brackets. Hex bolt, lock washer, flat washer is gonna be the short ones in the kit. We'll get one in on each end to hold it in place while we install our remaining hardware. This is gonna be our hardware. Our back bracket is actually gonna mount on the outside of the step where the rest of our brackets are gonna to mount to the inside. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna start tightening all of our hardware down. We're gonna start tightening the step to the brackets first. Then we're gonna tighten this top bracket. It's on our bed. And we'll come back, we'll tighten this bolt. Then we'll come back and we'll tighten the bolts holding the brackets to the rocker panels. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna torque all of our hardware to the specifications listed in the instructions. Once you get one side done, you're gonna repeat the process on the other. That's gonna do it for a look at in installation on the Weston NDX Nerf bars on a 2021 Ram 2500.